I'm Lisa Hollingham from the Ornalise Water Safety Team in Ireland. Today I'm down in Dunleary with the volunteer crew who are going to demonstrate our Float to Live campaign. If you find yourself in the water unexpectedly or get into difficulty while in the water, we want you to fight that urge of panic and to thrash around. We want you to lean back and float on your back, extending your arms and legs. We want you to do this for 60 to 90 seconds to get your breathing under control. And once you have your breathing under control, you can think a bit clearer, you can plan your next step. So whether you need to call for help by raising your right arm and a fist above your head, or whether you can swim safely to shore, once your breathing is under control, you can then safely progress to what you're going to do next. The RNLI strongly encourages you to take a means of calling for help if you're going out on the water. One thing you can take is a waterproof phone pouch and you can put your mobile phone in here to keep it safe and dry. Wear the mobile phone pouch around your neck and should you get into difficulty or require assistance, call 999 or 112 and ask for the Coast Guard. If you're going out on the water, you're going kayaking or paddle boarding, ensure that you're wearing an appropriate buoyancy aid suitable for your activity. If you're not wearing a buoyancy aid and you're going boating, make sure that you're wearing an appropriate life jacket. Make sure that the life jacket fits you well and that it has crotch straps. Crotch straps are hugely important, so if you fall in the water, the life jacket won't raise over your head and come off. Inflatables are fun to have, but they're not designed for the sea. What we just like is people to leave them at home, if possible, because your child could be in danger of being swept out to sea.